Good evening, everybody. It is uh, March 8th. Obviously, we're back north. We got another good little plaster of snow. This is actually the snowstorm that I think maybe you guys thought that I was plowing snow in in the last snow video. Um, I think they got around a foot or so up here. Get some little snow banks. I was plowing through a little bit of snow. Nothing too crazy. Not like previous years. Really, all in all, we've got a lot less snow up north this year than we've had in the past because as you guys know I've had to walk in from the highway and uh, because the road was literally blocked like I remember it was the skid steer was it last year or the year before it must have been last year I just got the skid steer I was piling snow banks like eight feet tall along my road edge and there's nothing like that this year so I am happy about that because uh, it will mean less water to go around in the spring, hopefully. We've never lost a crop in March. We've never lost a crop in April. So I was going to say we've never lost a crop in May, which is true. We've never lost a crop in May. I would, I would take rain all day long, you guys. Just give me rain all day long. Anyways, hopefully this 930 is warmed up and uh, we can... Have a little bit of fun, push a little bit of snow. It's kind of the goal. It's not super warm yet. Yeah, we still have that faulty steering pump. Don't really see any bars of green over here. It's actually only minus seven. It's pretty warm out. It still bothers me that my steering console's on an angle. Might have to get them to look at that when they come to fix the steering pump sensor. All right. Pick up our three point here. Oh yeah, no, we still got bird crap on here. This is what happens when we park right by the bin so we can plug in. It's bad. It's real bad. In fact, I know I've said this in every other video and I'm gonna say it again. It's the worst I've ever seen in my entire life. And I lose sleep at night. I do. Probably gonna have to go see a counselor. It's probably not the only thing I'm gonna have to see a counselor about, but you know, we'll just try to keep that on the down low. Hello. What's going on here? Excuse me, sir? Ex oh, excuse me! I think my tractor just farted. This is the first time this has ever happened. Apparently I just cleaned my air filter. Now that's what I'm talking about, you guys. Like, I didn't do anything. I don't know. I couldn't make it do it again, I don't think. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe my tractor sneezed. That's, what we'll, that's the word we'll use. My tractor sneezed. Now, if it was out the back end, it definitely farted. But this time it just sneezed. Okay, We've got a gas jug in the middle of my yard, I see. I don't know where I should start in this operation, but it's important to, uh, oh, they got another gas can over here. Unless it came with some wind. And my other one is over there. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but let's try and open up one of these wings. Seems to me I gotta do this, and then I gotta do the pink one. There it is, all right. I think that's, and then I think if I just turn the blue one here. Oh, nothing happened. Oh, maybe, maybe I don't need the blue one at all. Maybe I just need the pink one. There it is. Okay. There it is. Then I think if I just press this all the way down, it automatically goes down. Good job, awesome. What's going on here? I don't want it to put that much pressure on it. 
to like trying to lift my tractor off the ground here. Okay, good enough. Let's go. I know what's going on. I can't. Where's my camera? Uh, yes. Yes. What's going on? Yes. This one. Full screen. Beauty. All right. Pressure on the three point. I really can't see it very good. This is pretty much my best view right here. So you can put an extension on the top for snow. Um, it's like 800 bucks, I think, so it's not break the bank, so I am considering that. Just lift it up here. Reverse. clean this whole yard off and the reason why I do this because I've there's some questions about that is because if I let this much snow melt in this yard it would definitely compromise my yard right because I don't have that much gravel at all I gotta keep building my gravel reserves I wouldn't be able to get super bees in I wouldn't be able to get them out it'd just be a muck mess I can't have that happen so uh, we gotta keep pushing the snow off keep the yard bare so that way it can just melt a little bit, a little bit of water and dries up right away, this would just be a soup bowl. It would be bad news bears. So, again, going back to what I was saying, I'm just putting my bucket, my loader down right now. If I was using a 724 with the loader doing this, it'd probably take me like an all day thing. And if I wanted to clean it up just perfect, it would probably take me more than a day. So there's quite a bit of snow on here. But this, this, because I can angle it off one way. Maybe I need to put a little more angle on my blade here, but look at it, I'm leaving another ridge. So those wings, I do believe, have uh, hydraulic relief valves. So if I was to hook something, it would just kick back. And the pro about that is if I hook an underground rock, it will kick back. The con is that if you actually start pushing too much snow, it will kick itself back. You guys want to take a peek at this? Let's just step outside real quick and take a peek at this thing. So obviously my tractor is quite a bit larger than this blade. Like I would probably wreck this blade if I wasn't careful. Holy cow, it's pump full of snow. Um, here's the wings. I think these valves are uh, so I can kick my wings hydraulically quicker. They were really slow. Somebody from HLA, you know who you are, uh, messaged me and said, hey, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, that way you can you know, open them up a little bit quicker. So I appreciate that, good sir, thank you very much. 
Otherwise, it's pretty much a blade, you guys. Nothing fancy about it. You can get these and put them on a loader as well, but my only concern is I feel like this three-point hitch is a heck of a lot sturdier. I know I got an oil leak going on. It's a whole heck of a lot thicker and heavier built than my loader would be. And when I say loader, I mean the loader on the 724, which I don't have. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you. See those springs? So I have the same over on this side. And now I don't remember if it's in the center. But anyway, that cutting edge will trip back. So in this yard, because essentially I'm still in a field, especially over there on that part of the side of the yard, uh, I actually have some underground rocks. We call them deadheads. And last time I was up here blading, I actually hooked, like they stick up like maybe this much, but that's all you need. And then I was probably doing about four, four and a half mile an hour when I was blading, which isn't crazy fast, I don't think. And anyway, I hooked that, and I don't know where I hooked it on the blade, but I hooked it. And I seriously thought I wrecked something off this blade, like ripped something off this blade. I, I was looking behind me for yellow, all right? I was like, it was like, boom, boom. And I was like, holy crap, I like ripped something off. Nothing happened. And then I stopped the tractor, and I was like, oh, I'm scared to get out and look to see what happened to this blade. And I got out, and it was perfectly fine. I didn't even scratch it. And that's because it tripped back. So it takes quite a bit to trip it, but thank goodness it did. Or I really would have been looking at something yellow behind me, I'm pretty sure of that. All right, enough talking. Let's put a little more angle on this blade. I'm pretty sure that I could hit my tire if I wasn't careful there, but... When I put this thing down, it actually really pressures it, picks up the front end of my tractor. I don't want that much pressure on it. Oh, I need more than that. I'm a noob here, you guys. Bear with me, I'm a noob. Not used to three point hitch stuff here. We're doing nine miles an hour right now, 10 mile an hour. Just hook something. <laughs> oh man. No, I know where I would hook something. It wouldn't be right here. The only downside is you can't pile very good. So you're like not like a loader, you can make a big pile. Unless you do it like a silage pile and keep driving on it. I guess I could have put my blade down a little more there. Don't judge me. All right, here we go. We gotta get quicker on. What was that? Just uh, put that there. Lay down. Not that much pressure. Ooh, maybe not that much pressure. I'm taking some gravel off my yard here. sure that I can I'm, I think that I can make my three-point hitch into my joystick and then I would have my reverse button and everything right there and I think I know I can put this hydraulic up here for my blade I know that I don't know why I haven't done that yet but oh 
Sorry about that, guys. Just looking at crap. to go ramming speed into this old snow because it's like a brick of ice and that's how you break stuff. Okay guys, I gotta let you go. I've bored you, I have bored you guys, bored you, bored you, bored you, bored you. Get the idea. I'll catch you on the flip side. Gotta have some fun. Adios. <laughs>